and once again, having professional products um, that, are, that are built for our systems, when you turn up with something like this, um, it just oozes professionalism to your client and the venue. If you're coming into some venues talking about rigging and framing and hanging, uh, you need to look professional and having the right gear and the right know-how really helps you. Um, back in the day to get to rigging points like this, I would uh, tie a little balloon weight, a little balloon full of water and would sit there and throw it over the beams and uh, everyone would just sort of look and go, oh, who are these guys? When you come in with a system like this, uh, completely different kettle of fish. So let's just show you. First up, we get the end of our nylon and I tie it to the magnet on the key ring here. Just a double knot. Now a couple of pointers using this system that I've learnt over the years. Firstly, we can see the channel or the groove in the uh, banana little attachment point. We want to of course run down that channel and let the nylon click through the end of the groove or the tongue of the groove at the end there. When I'm working with my uh, extension pole, I always like to have it fully extended before I start to lift it up high. Um, it just means there's less to do with your hands while you're working. And you'll see my left hand here is going to hold the nylon. I'll hold it onto the uh, magnet pole. My right hand is going to control the pole. So as I work my way up, I'm going to leave that ball as close as I can to the end because the further down it is, the more it can swing. And the higher up it is, it controls it a little more. So as I go up, I go over the beam in which I want to hang from, up, over, and then slowly release it down. And now we're disconnected from the pole. I'll either hold that or you can even, if you're by yourself, just slowly release it, pop it on the ground. And now you can just think about the one task, which is controlling this down here.